What's up? You said with his four congressmen's stop, what was your perspective on the play then and now that you've watched it? Um, I'd say before, it was just to get the ball, make the play, you know what I'm saying, score. After the fact, I really still didn't know. It was, it was a shocker for me as well. Um, I felt like he was making a football move, um, trying to break the tackle, still fight for yards. And that's why I went for the strip. Um, so I think it was a fumble. That seemed to happen as fast for you as it looked on film. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, well, to me, like I said, I felt like it was like a hit, strip kind of play. Uh, I, I thought it was too too early for them to even think about blowing the whistle. I don't think they did blow the whistle when I did it. I think when I scooped it, I think I heard the whistle then. But um, I feel like it was still too late for them to even try to blow the whistle on a play. But I really, I can't, I can't make the change on that play. But like I said, I was just doing my job, get the ball, make the play. Um, it means a lot, honestly. Um, just being back, like I said, I'm happy to be back here. Happy to make plays for this team and just, you know, continue to help this team grow. And like I said, um, yesterday we got we got a lot ahead of us. We got we got an opportunity to make a run into the playoffs and, and we got something special. So I think, you know, just keep doing that and just keep working. I think we got a good a good a good chance to get in there. You got slim opportunities, man. You win, you stay in. We're not we're not in a position to to go out there and and lose any games. Like I said, we got an opportunity to do something special. And the more we win, it just helps our opportunity out going into the playoffs. Yes, compared to the training camp to now, does anything feel different for you personally just this time around with this team? No, not at all. Um when I came back, it just felt like I never left. You know what I mean? I came back in, the team welcomed me with open arms, players, coaches. Um, also the fans too in the city. So this is like my second home, you know, away from home. So, you know, just being back here, like I said, my whole family's here as well. So it's like another home for me. So it was just great to be back here. As you spent all the training camp with this team, but was it important for you uh, schematically to kind of get caught up over this last week and re-familiarize yourself with the defense? Is that beneficial? Um, yeah, I mean, just as a player and who I am, um, I'm a guy that brings energy. You know, so this team already had it, and I seen it. You know, when I wasn't here, they was already playing at a high level. They was playing with their energy. They was playing together. And just me coming back, that's just who I am. You know what I mean? I go out there, and we just play. We ball. You know what I'm saying? And as long as we keep playing together, that's what's going to keep showing on film. Just improvement, you know, as a player and as a, as a player and as a person for him. Um, young guy. You know, full of expectations. I know a lot of people got expectations for him, but just for key for him is just just keep doing, just keep doing you, keep doing your job. You know, you know what kind of player you are. You make plays. That's what you're here for. And he did. He showed that yesterday. He put that on display for sure. Like I said, that's 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 what he's expected to do. He know that. So the long as long as he keep making those plays, man, we just gonna be playing at a high level. Just keep him doing whatever he's doing, and, and just keep him on on the right path. A couple more. A lot of conversation last week about communication uh, in the secondary and the defense. It felt like you were pretty demonstrative, you know, pointing out things. I mean, to only been back a couple of weeks and to already be kind of right in the thick of things. Mm -hmm. How does that feel for you? How comfortable are you doing that? How, how well was the communication working for you guys yesterday? I think that was a big reason for um, the team bringing me back is uh, just to fill in that role as a leadership, you know, a guy that's vocal, a guy that's, that has knowledge, that has wisdom, that's on the field, a veteran, you know what I'm saying? And, and, that's, and that's very critical in defenses that's that close to the line of scrimmage that can kind of dissect formations, look at Tennessee's past concepts, it, it just helps our team out even more because we got Jimmy in the back end as well. So I think 
I think we we in good hands, man. As long as as long as like I said, as long as we just keep doing our job, communicating, and just playing together, we in a good position. Jesse, you and Javier are obviously close, and y'all basically competing for the same mm. position, same job. What's that dynamic like, and how do y'all handle those conversations? Like, can you tell us? Um, no competition. Uh, you know, me and me and Tavier, we we go back to little league childhood days. We just pushing each other. That's all it is. We making each other better each and every day, and, and we rooting for each other. Whenever we on the field, even with special teams, like they just put me back down punt return, and he's out there blocking. You know, and I tell him, I was like, I know you can do what you're gonna do. You're gonna lock them down. And he did that. He did his job yesterday. And even when he's on the field, I'm rooting for him as well, and I'm letting him know the things that I see when I'm not in and he's in. So that's going to help him out even when I'm not playing. Thanks, Des. Thanks. Mm.